Thank you for calling the technical department. This is Paula. How can I assist you? I have a problem on my computer. It says... Uh, oh, I'm uh, so sorry. What kind of problem, sir? It says DLL register setting is detected something. I don't know what. It's blue, and it says to call this number. Oh. Okay. It, uh, according to you, it's a blue screen, correct? Yes. And it said to call this number. And yeah, right now you're talking to a Microsoft certified technician. So, and what were you do, uh, exactly doing on this computer, sir, when you got this message? Oh, well, I was looking at some videos, just doing regular stuff. Okay. Okay, not an issue. What? And how old is the computer, oh, by the way? Well, I don't know, probably four, four years. Four years, and hopefully you are the main owner and the main user, correct? Yes. Because we are only entitled to speak to the main owner of the computer. Yeah, so it's, it's... Sorry for asking you that question. Uh, yeah, it's my computer, yeah. Okay, thank you. And uh, before this, sir, uh, have you had any problems with your computer, or is this the first time? No, it's the f first time that anything like this has happened. I, I, don't, I don't know what caused it. I, but I can't, okay, I can't, worry, I can't, I can't get out of it either. That's a problem. Okay. Okay, I understood uh, what might have gone wrong. So, first of all, sir, we have to uh, get your system connected to the support center so that the Microsoft certified technician, they can diagnose and analyze the problem and help you to resolve the issues permanently so that you don't face any major issue with your computer in the coming future. Okay? Okay. So, it's a laptop? It's a regular computer or a laptop? Regular computer is a desktop. Okay. Now, you have to concentrate on your keyboard. On your keyboard, on the extreme left-hand side bottom corner, can you find a four-square Windows logo key? Yeah, I see it. You have to press it and hold it with one finger. Okay. And while you're holding it down with another finger, press the letter R, R as in Romeo. Okay. A box came up, says no run. Yeah, now release your fingers from the keyboard. Okay. And if you look in the middle of that screen, just beside open, there should be a long white panel where you can type something. Am yeah. I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. is anything typed in there or is it blank? Blank. Okay. You ha I'll help you with the command. You have to type over there, I as an in indigo. I as an in okay. After I, it should be E as an echo. Okay. X as an X-ray. Okay. P as in Pennsylvania. Okay. L as in London. Okay. O as in Oscar. Yep. R as in Romeo. Yep. E as in Echo. Yep. Space. Okay. Then type www dot www dot okay S as in Sam yes U as in uniform yeah P as in Pennsylvania yeah R as in Romeo yeah E as in Echo yep. M as in Mike. Wait a minute. M S U P P M R E. No, S U P R E. S U P S U P R E. Okay. M M O M O P O P O. Okay. P. P as in California. Oh. C O. 
N as in November. N. T as in Tiger. T. R as in Romeo. R. O as in Oscar. O. Okay. L as in London. Yeah. Dot com. Okay. Okay now? Yes, sir. Please hit okay. And whatever comes up on your screen, please let me know so that I can guide you in the best possible manner. Okay. Not yet. The, uh, oh, okay, here it is. Okay, it says download, purchase, Supremo. Okay, uh, don't purchase it. Click on download. Download. Okay, it says run, save. Yeah, please run it. Run. Retry. Now, do you find any other options? Not yet. It's just. Okay, okay, okay now. Security scan IP. Yeah, yeah. Now it says verified publisher. Do you want a hard drive in this computer? Yes. Pardon? Do you want to allow yes, this app? Yes. Okay. Click on yes. Okay, did. Now it says. Run Supremo or install. Okay. No, you don't have to run it. Don't install it. Don't provide any password. On the right hand side bottom, can you find accept? Yeah. Okay, I see. Click it. on accept. Okay. Okay, connect to a remote computer. Yeah, can you find some ID and password? Yeah, ID is... Help me with the ID number. 436-685-731. Uh-huh. And the password? 6325. 6325. Yes. So thank you very much. Uh, now your computer will get connected to the support center. And okay. once it gets successfully connected, I'll just transfer this call to a Microsoft certified technician. His name is Vishal. Okay? Okay. He will be the best person to guide you and help you to resolve the issues permanently. Okay. So that you don't face any. And what kind of work you normally do on this computer, sir? Apart from emailing, chatting, or browsing any website, no, do you do any online shopping or banking? Yeah, I do. My pay my bills and shop once in a while. Uh, okay, not an issue, sir. That technician, he will help you. His name is Vishal. So I'll just transfer this call, okay? Okay. So just tell me, and I believe your telephone now. Yeah, while you're having a conversation with Vishal, if the call gets, uh, if it gets disconnected, please do not get panicked. He will call you and reconnect uh, back to you once again. Okay, okay. So, thank you very much, no. sir. Just be on hold, I'll transfer this call to Vishal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time and your patience, sir. My name is Vishal. How are you doing today? Good, good. Until this happened, I don't know what happened, though. So okay, definitely, sir. I will educate you about what is the problem going inside the computer, and then I will give you the exact solution of what is required to be done to fix up the computer problem. Okay. Okay. All right. Right. Now, sir, if you don't mind me asking you, can you please tell me uh, what exactly were you doing on the computer or, or trying to do on the computer when you faced this kind of problem? Oh, I was looking at videos. 
just looking around. Yeah, I like to look around. Just stuff. Yeah, just stuff. Yeah. Okay. And how old is this computer, sir? What is the age of this computer? Oh, about four years old, I think. Four years old. And apart from you, does anyone else also use this computer? Only you use it, sir? No, my wife and my son use it. Your wife and your son uses it? And Once in a while. Are you, having, are you running any kind of... Sorry? Once in a while. Not too often. Once in a while. Okay. Now, I was going to ask you that are you using any kind of protection or any kind of security for your computer? I see over here uh, a was free antivirus you are using. Yep. Now, as this is a free version, sir, as you can imagine, this protection is not able to protect your computer from the inspections which you're getting. Now, basically, let me make you educate about what is the problem going on. Whenever you are going ahead and using your computer for any purpose, like for emailing, for chatting online, or for downloading anything, your computer, sir, is automatically getting downloaded with some kind of inspection which is going ahead and corrupting your computer system. Uh-uh. That don't sound good. No. That, that, that just definitely doesn't sound good, sir. Now, at the background, do you see there is a blue color screen which has been displayed on the computer? Yeah. Now, let me go ahead and show you, with the help of Google, what is this blue screen and why it is inside your computer, for what purpose. Okay. And let me tell you one thing, sir. You First of all, you have a very good computer. It's a good hardware configuration which you have. Okay, good. Right, you have a good computer, like the hardware is good, the, the processor inside the computer is really fast. Now, you will be seeing Google on your computer screen. Yeah. Now, in Google, yeah, now in Google, I will go ahead and type over there BSOD. Now, just have a look over here. Oh, okay. Now, mm. do you see? Yeah, this is a similar kind of blue screen which you have received right now on your computer system. This okay. Alright. Right. Yeah. Now, just read out the chorus. Just read out the message beside it. BSOD is an error screen displayed on a Windows computer system after a fatal system error, also known as a system crash. When the operating system reaches a condition where it can no longer operate safely. Now, why your computer, sir, has gone in such a hibernation mode? Because whenever you are going ahead and using your computer for any purpose, like for emailing, for chatting online, or for downloading anything, your computer is automatically getting downloaded with lots of errors and warnings. Uh -oh. Let me show you those infections. And when you are using this computer for the past couple of days or the past couple of weeks, have you noticed uh, that the computer is running a bit slow, it is taking some time to boot up or any freeze up problems? Ah, it seems a little slower, but I figure that's just because it's old. No, no, it is not because it is old, so see, an average computer span life is about uh, 10 to 12 years. And this computer which you have, it's a good computer, it will definitely last for more than 10 to 12 years, sir. Okay. It is right now at least four, year, 4 years old, you told me, right? Yeah. So there is more, more years to go, sir, which your computer can survive. If you take proper care of your computer, if it has the proper, how to say, uh, software installed in it. Mm, okay. Now let me, as you can see in the tab it says, event viewer not responding, do you see that? All right. So your computer is not respond some of the time. Now inside your computer, do you see, there are some red circle errors and yellow triangle warnings which is right now being displayed on the computer system? Yeah, I see it. It's a lot of work. Do you see the num num number of events 
1,762 of them are there, sir. It's a huge lot of numbers. Oh. Now, these errors and these warnings are the responsible software and the responsible infection for what is going wrong inside the computer right now. Because these are not normally viruses. These are electromagnetic transfuse infections that allow some third-party uh, fusion software to get downloaded inside your computer. Now, in normal words, if I try to explain you, these errors and these warnings are like hacking links. Holy cow! Seventeen hundred yeah. hackers. Yeah, these are the hacking links. What these errors and these warnings do is basically they inform the hackers that your computer is an open gateway for any of the hacking software or the hacking links to easily get inside the computer. So if any hacker wants to hack into your computer, they can easily hack into your computer without any assistance, sir. My those bastards. Yeah. You know that nowadays a lot of cyber crime and cyber terrorism are going on around this world, sir. And in order for a computer to work perfectly, all the software inside the computer should be in a running condition, right? Now just have a look over here. In this page, in this middle one, you will see on the left hand side there are all the list of the software which are there inside your computer. In the middle column, you will find the manufacturers who manufactured all of those software. Do you see that? Yeah. My Microsoft, a lot of Microsoft. In the extreme right yeah. column, yeah, in, in the extreme right column, you will see the list of the software whether it is running, stop, or it is running right now. And let me highlight the ones which is stop working. Yeah. This kind of software has stopped working inside your computer. Right. Let's scroll down this page. And oh. most of the software belongs to Microsoft Corporation which is the mother corporation software which needs to be running inside your computer. If I keep going down, you will see about 40 to 50 percent of the software that stop working. See this? Yeah. And if I go to the extreme bottom of this page, you will see the list of the running software which are currently running inside your computer. Once these running software also stop working inside your computer, sir, then your computer permanently crashes down. Then I'm kind There's of screwed. No, no, you're not, you're not screwed right now. Now, as these errors and these warnings are making this software to stop working so that your computer can crash down, let me go ahead and check that if any hackers have successfully hacked into your computer or not, or whether they have installed any of their hacking software inside your computer or not, sir, okay? Okay. Right. Now just have a look over here. In this page, you will see the technician, the senior technician I will be highlighting a name of a software called RUNGLL32.exe. Do you see all of those? Yeah. And let me refer, go ahead and refer to Google once again to show you what is this RUNDLL32.exe is and for what reason it has been installed inside your computer, what kind of file or folder it is, okay? Okay. And uh, in general, if I need to ask you a question, that apart from this computer, besides this computer, do you have any other computer or a laptop or any iPad or iPhone which is connected to the same internet connection? Yeah. Yep. So whatever infections or hackers are inside this computer, it can get inside your other computer as well, sir, through the same internet connection, sir. Oh, boy. That's all I need. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, just read this out. Uh, the technician will be highlighting a major section inside your computer in a third paragraph where it says R-U-N-D-L-L-3-2. You see that? Yeah. AXC is a process. Do you see that, sir? Yes. I see it. Yeah. So can you please re read it out for me? Oh, it's a process registered as a backdoor 
vulnerability which may be installed for malicious purposes by an attacker allowing access to computer or stealing passwords, internet banking, personal data. As a security risk should be removed from your system. Could also be a process that belongs to the program. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. The other part said it was supposed to be there. The other, the second part, the second part said it's supposed to be there. Which one do we believe? No, no. The, the second part, sir, which it says, it, it is the process of the different system. If it is supposed to be there, sir, then the hackers can gain the control, complete control of your computer. Then. Well, no, that's not what I read. I don't know. Well, go ahead. That's you're the main thing, sir. You're the expert, so. Okay. I'll go with what you say. Right. And this is the main thing which is going on inside your computer for the past couple of days or the past couple of weeks, sir. Okay. And this is the main concern. Now, as your computer is very badly inspected and these hackers and the hacking software are right now inside your computer, so right now I will be going ahead and helping you out and assisting you to remove these and hackers and the hacking out of the computer and provide the necessary software and the necessary protection which is required by your computer system. Uh -huh. So right now I'm going to check the condition of your computer's windows. Okay. The computer will automatically tell us that what is required to be done to go ahead and fix up this problem permanently. So with, in future, with any of the computer, you do not face this kind of problem again. Okay. So do you see inside your computer this condition of a window? Yeah. Please double click on it. Double click on this, it's in here. Yeah. Yeah. Now you will see a message, sir. This message can only be viewed from your side. I cannot see it. So what your computer is telling you, can you please tell us? It says CLSID is blocked due to Windows firewall got expired and needs each and every registration to be fixed. Huh. Now CLSID is blocked means, sir, the computer is blocked due to Windows firewall got expired. Windows Firewall is the mother protection of the computer that goes ahead and takes care of all of the hacking links and the hacking software and does not allow them to get inside your computer. And oh. as the protection has got expired inside the computer, that's the reason these hackers and the hacking software are uh, error in the warnings for able to get inside the computer. Uh oh. Computer gateways is damaged too. The computer gateway is damaged. Uh oh. 92.78% of Windows is damaged. Holy shit. Windows firewall is expired. Renew it. Boy, a lot of stuff. This is expired. I didn't know it expired. No, the Windows firewall is a mother protection of the computer. Yeah, but it says it's expired. Okay, yes. but it said it was expired. Yeah, it is expired, sir. Oh, that's and not good. Oh, no. Expired, that is the reason you are facing this kind of problem. No. So, generally, what you have to do from your side, I am writing in a notepad, okay? Okay. You have to go ahead and renew. Right now, you have to go ahead and renew the Windows firewall protection of your computer. Okay. Sh so you will be taking it from your side. I will be helping you over the phone, okay? Okay. Now, once you do that, then we, the technician, will be working inside your computer for at least three to four hours. Holy so cow! I reinstall. Yes. I can't use my computer for three hours. You don't have to be in front of your computer. Well, 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 yeah, but my yeah, yeah. My son's got to do his homework. My son uses this for his homework. He'll be coming home from school. Oh no. Right. Mm. So no problem. He can use uh, the other computer which you have. But in this computer, I will tell my technician to do it a bit faster within one or two hours. Yeah, tell him to speed it up. Man. Okay. okay. Oh, I will definitely tell him. We will be removing the hackers out of the computer. We will go ahead and block the gateways from where these hackers and the hacking software has got inside the uh, computer. Okay. Install and anti-hacking protection inside the computer so that in future no hackers can again get inside the computer and then we will be going ahead and boosting your computer drivers so that 
your computer did not crash this down. Okay. Okay. Now, as you are the decision maker and you are the uh, owner of this computer, sir, so you just decide that for how long a period would you like to go ahead and renew this software protection inside your computer, sir? Because according to it, there will be a one-time nominal registration fee which needs to be taken care from your side. Oh. Okay. I didn't think I had... Oh, how much is that? It depends upon you that for how long period you want to install the protection. Okay. Now suppose if you go ahead and want to install the protection for two years only for this computer, it will cost you 191.00 USD. Okay. And if you go ahead and do it for the five years, now what is the best thing about the five years or for the lifetime is that suppose within five years or within lifetime, if you go ahead and buy a new computers or any new laptops, each and every computer, each and every devices, suppose within the lifetime, if you go for the lifetime protection, within the lifetime period, if you go ahead and buy any new computer or any new laptop for the complete rest of your lifetime, you don't have to spend any single penny for any of your computer. Each and every computer will be protected from each and every infection and I will provide you with our direct helpline number. So if in future you face any kind of problem, you can directly call us back in our helpline number, sir. Okay, the lifetime. Whose lifetime is it for, though? It is your lifetime. It is not. Oh, that's not. That's it not good. Life. That's not good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I'm not going to be around that long. I don't know. Maybe I should put it in my son's name. No, no. Yeah, I can put it in your son's name. There is no problem. See, right now, if you do it for in your name, automatically up. Uh, see, it will God forbid if anything happens to you and you may live longer, more 20, 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I, d I doubt it. Your grandson, your grandchildren. <laughs> I doubt it, but... We can go ahead and transfer it in their name as well. Oh, okay. Your call to make for how long you want to install the protection. Well, I don't know. It's kind of expensive, really. Maybe my son can figure out how to do this. He might be able to do it. No, He's pretty sharp no, with the computers. Sir, this, work, this work which needs to be done inside your computer, it can only be taken care by a Microsoft certified technician as we are. Well, I'm and a... This is a Windows uh, file protect which needs to be installed inside your computer from an authorized service center. And as your computer has given you the technical help line number, uh, it is our duty to help you and assist you. And let me tell you, each and every document with each and every invoice will be sent into your email account and I will go ahead and provide you a direct helpline number so if in future you face any kind of problem you can directly call it back and each and every computer which is right in your house all of your devices will all get protected uh, I don't think so I don't think I need it because I think this is a scam so <laughs> I really don't need it sorry what are you, gonna, what are you talking about uh, I'm, I'm talking about it's a scam that's what I'm talking about you want $191 to do nothing yeah, how can it... No, it is, we are not going to do nothing over here inside the computer. That's totally the wrong thing which you're telling, sir. See, if this would have been a scam, sir, then your computer wouldn't have given you our number on the computer. My my computer my didn't computer give me that. You. My computer didn't do that. You did that. Come on. How can I do that, sir? What do you mean, how do you do that? You, 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 these things pop up all the freaking time. That's why I called you, because it's a pain in the no. ass. No, sir. There is nothing wrong with my computer. No, my computer didn't provide me nothing. You provided it. See, whenever anything wrong happens to any of the computer, the computer automatically go ahead and provide you the technical helpline number to where you can call and receive help from your computer. Now, I have gone ahead and done my part of the job. Your part of your job was to show me the event viewer, which means nothing. It means nothing. Those errors and warnings are supposed to be there. It means nothing. The errors and warnings are supposed to be there? You yes. Yes, I know about that. I know. Okay, goodbye. You are technical. I didn't hear you. What, what, are, what are about the Run DLL software? Run DLL is supposed to be there. I read it to you. I read it to you. I know it's supposed to be there. No, sir. It is not supposed to be there. It is supposed to be there. Then why do you... It is a run deal, it's a hacking software. And it can be, it can be, but not necessarily. It can be, but it's not necessarily. Yeah, 
then why the software are getting stopped inside the computer? Tell me, sir. They're, they're supposed to be stopped. They're processes that aren't running. If everything on this computer is running, the freaking thing will blow up. The things you're not using, no, it is the case. The things that the things that Windows doesn't need are stopped. No, see, uh, boy, boy, oh boy, for a technician, you you aren't that sharp, really. If you're a technician, you don't know that ev that you're, you're sharp. You're showing me the event viewer, and that's sharp. That's sharp, all right. It's sharp maybe if somebody didn't know know any better, and they might pay you this money, and especially if it was another senior citizen, you'd screw them out of their money. Now, see, sir, your computer is very bad, then why did you give us a call if you knew Because I want to waste your time so you're not scamming somebody else. I do this, I post it on YouTube so other senior citizens can see it and understand so that you can't get into their computer, that's all. And they won't pay you money for nothing. Money for nothing. That is that is the description of it is I can go ahead and give you the guarantee. Let me let What are you gonna guarantee? Go ahead and give you the guarantee. I'll call I'll call the direct number tomorrow and it'll be disconnected. Come on. Give me a break. No, no, you have to first give me a break, sir. That your computer has, you give us call, you wanted help for your computer. No, I didn't want help. No, I didn't want help. I knew it was a scam right from the beginning. I didn't want help. I can get rid of this thing myself. I don't need you. Hey, it's gone. Bingo. Bango. I guess you're done. I don't know. I can't hear nobody. Are, are you there? Are you done? Or what? What's the story here? I'm kind of confused. I am here, sir. You uh, tell me for how long you want protection. I don't want any protection. I don't need any protection. I just went through the whole story with you. you weren't you paying attention? No, no, I'm not, sir. You have to go ahead and install this protection right now. Otherwise, the computer will crash on you. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna crash on me. Come on. It is not going to crash. Let me show you how much time is left for your computer to crash. Okay. Now, now let's see. Now, do you see inside your computer? What oh you no! Countdown. Oh no! No, that's a great thing you invented there. Oh. Can you send? Can you send? Can, can you send me a copy of that program? Yes. If I give Definitely you, I can send you. Sir. Yeah, I want a copy of that program. Sir, see, your computer is very badly infected, and your computer is right now internally crashing down. As you can see it inside your computer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, you tell me, are you are you a technician? Are you? A technician? No, I, absolutely, I am not a technician. I am not a technician. And apparently neither are you. Running this stupid little running this stupid little program. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to be a technician to know a scam. Well, I'm, go I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to count down. You should have put less. You, sh you should have put less time on it. And then your computer will definitely crash down, sir. I can give you that guarantee if you take oh, notes. And I guarantee you it's not. And I'm not going to sit here for 49 minutes or whatever you got on here. <laughs> now, yeah. I have went ahead. Now, you won't tell me what should I be doing. Should I be ending our conversation then? Yeah, because uh, this is all baloney. <laughs> Jeez. But it was good. I mean, I had fun talking to you. You had fun talking to him. Right? Yeah, yeah. So have a good day. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm having a good day, sir. You too have a great day then. Okay. Bye bye.